So I think a lot of people, there's like a fine line between decorator and designer and everyone just thinks an interior designer is a decorator. So, you know, people are like, oh, come pick out curtains for me. Come pick out pillows, help me, you know, pick a paint color, which I can do all of those things. But overall, that's just like a fraction of the job. My name is Jackie. I'm the senior interior designer here at McQueen. I manage the design team and we all work on floor plans together. We select finishes. We have a lot of client interaction. Every day is different. I usually start at the office answering emails. Um, you know, sometimes I'll be working on presentations, sometimes drawings, and then other days I'm out of the office all day. So today is going to be one of those days. So right now we are going to one of our clients' houses in Peters Township. Um, we're currently doing phase one, which is a kitchen and an addition, I'm opening up a wall to a living room there. They like us so much. We're going back for phase two and phase three. So we're gonna do a lot of other work to the first floor. We're gonna meet Ryan there today. He's our draftsman. He usually works closely with the structural engineer. So he always does our instruction documents so it's very important that he's there for this meeting. This is going to be remodeled kitchen over there we just added an addition but behind us here we're going to open up this wall completely take it down and enlarge this living room space here. This is one of my first projects with McQueen that I've done most of the design myself. Um, I had a lot of help with the design team for selections, but I did a lot of floor plan options for the kitchen, for the addition. Um, so a lot of the conceptual items before it's handed off to Ryan when he does construction documents. But, uh, so that opening is gonna get smaller. Just a little bit, yeah. Since the whole short. run shifted yeah. a little bit, okay. So next, Ryan and I are going to a new client's home. Um, the first step of the design process is to take field measurements, get some photos to really understand the scope of work. Um, we'll also meet the structural engineer there to go through what walls we want to take down if we can, if we can't, and things like that. So usually when I get to a new client's home, um, first I'll do a little walkthrough with the client and then we go over the scope of work very briefly at first. Um, but usually when I start my field measurements, I'll do a little sketch of the room before I start measuring. So I'll get the general shape of the room um, and then that way it's all set up for as I walk around the room, I can just write my measurements down. I've become friends with all the dogs. Cats don't like me though. But look at them. They're like I know these ones might one like me. <laughs> well, that one ran away. See? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, I think she was saying after we take this wall down, then you can have like seating there. But I don't know how that will work in terms of like the kitchen. Yeah, how are you going to? Because jobs. Yeah, because it's. So, Ryan and I usually go to the field measurement meetings together when we first start a project. Um, it works out really well because Ryan knows all of the construction terms and how we can achieve this, the new design that we want to do and I kind of think about the function of the space, the layout, circulation throughout, and how it works for the client. Everyone, this is Maria. She is our interior designer here. Um, her and I work very closely together on the projects. Um, sometimes, you know, we take more lead on some than others. So she has her own projects, I have my own. Some we share, it just kind of depends on the workload that we have. So we share a lot of the same responsibilities. So today we are gathering a lot of finishes for a presentation that we have today. So I'm thinking we'll do this on the floor, like a 12 by 24 at a brick pattern, and then this for shower walls. And then since there's three girls, we'll do pink for yes. the vanity. Oh, that'll be perfect. <laughs> For the basement, I was thinking we could use this as accent wall for the bar. Um, since it's an older house, we can be a bit ornate with yeah. our profiles. Cappuccino, do you think yeah. that, or maybe both? Should we show them both? Mm. Show them both, but I am kind of leaning towards the cappuccino. Yeah. 
So typically to get to this point, we usually send our clients a design quiz. And what they do is they fill it out and it gives us, you know, what they like most out of a certain color palette or if they prefer a certain finish for light fixtures, plumbing fixtures, and we use that as a base. And we also review their house pages, their Pinterest pages, um, just for some style inspiration. And then when we propose everything to them, you know, we have the ability to grab samples behind us, switch things out, see how they like how everything's coming together. It's usually a work in progress. Um, sometimes if we don't decide everything right away, we can always come back and have a second design presentation for them. All right, so now that Maria and I have wrapped up everything for the design presentation, um, there's a little bit of time before the clients come into the office. So I'm gonna catch up on some emails and then I'll have about an hour or so, I'm gonna stop at Mont, which is a uh, marble and granite warehouse, so that way I could pick some countertops out for another client that we have. So we just got to Mont. Um, what we're doing here today is, this is kind of a different scenario with this client, is they picked a countertop first because they fell in love with it immediately. So we had our design presentation after that. Um, so we're just going to make sure that everything we selected at the design presentation works well with the countertops that they selected. So the client has already selected this slab and what we're doing today is just confirming that all the other selections that we picked for the same room is going to work together. All of these slabs are called Scandinavia, so we're going to use them in their new kitchen remodel. This here will be the cabinet color, which is alabaster. So as you can see, it looks really good together. I mean, you could put any kind of countertop with white, which is great. This one was good. Confirmed. <laughs> All right, so this slab here is called Mykonos and it was also selected from the client previously before the design presentation. So this is gonna be all of the tile. And I'm very anxious because I feel like it's very gray. And I don't know if it will work together. And I'm going to take a picture of all of this together so that they could see how all the colors come together in the room. Um, but I do, want to show them another option that I think will work better with the tile. So what's great about Mont is that I have the ability to walk around the whole warehouse and kind of get some other options to propose for the client. Um, so since the Mykonos wasn't really working out as we wanted to, I can at least show them two um, new options that go with the tile. The one will push them out of budget most likely. Um, this one is more within the price range of the Mykonos, which they have accepted already. So maybe we could credit them, something like that. But at least I have a couple options to show them now. So it's working out well. <laughs> so I always like to end the day with something fun like this. Uh, it's really fun to work with our vendors. They always help us complete our designs. Um, so. We're going to be ending the day today. Thank you for tagging along with me and McQueen Building Company.